to find the area to the left of the curve for a negative z-score, we uh, subtract the z-score of the corresponding z from 1.0. So for example, the z-score of minus 1.52 is calculated by first finding the area to the left of z, which you can see by the table is 0 0.9357. Then we subtract uh, that from one to get the area to the left of z equal to minus 1.52. And as you can see, that is equal to 0 0.643 or 6.43%. Now, what about finding the area under the curve between two values of z? For that, we subtract the smaller area from the larger. And this represents the probability that a data value is between those scores. For example, let's find the area under the curve between z equals 1 and z equals 2. We use the z-score table to find the percent of the data between z equals 1 and z equals 2. The area to the left of z equals 2 is 0.9772, and the area to the left of z equals 1 is 0 0.8413. So the area between them is the difference of those two values, 0.9722 minus 0.8413, which is equal to 0.1359, or about 13.6%. There's a common rule called the empirical rule for estimating the area between whole number values of z. The empirical rule states that the percentage of normally distributed data that falls within one, two, and three standard deviations from the mean is as follows. 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation of the mean. We say that about two-thirds of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean. Then if you go out further, 95% of the data falls within two standard deviations of the mean and 99.7% of the data falls within three standard deviations of the mean. Here's a picture that represents that. You can see uh, that 13.6% is again uh, the area between one and two standard deviations. Here, sigma represents one standard deviation and two times sigma is two standard deviations. So what we have here on this line is mu for the mean, mu plus sigma is the mean plus one standard deviation, mu plus two sigma is the mean plus two standard deviations. Now here's a calculator online uh, for uh, giving you a better understanding of what the normal curve uh, looks like, what the area under the normal curve looks like. Let's go to this link. So here is the normal curve calculator at onlinestatbook.com. And let me show you a couple of examples. First, if I set the value to zero, you can see the area above the mean, right down here is 0.5 or 50%. Uh, I'm gonna change the next one also to zero. And you can see the area below the mean is again 50%. Uh, Let's look again at the area between one and two standard deviations above the mean. And again, you see that is 13.6% or 0 0.1359. And then there's another feature that lets us find the area outside of two given points, outside minus one, minus one and one, there we go. So again, there you can see the area outside of minus one and one is 0.3173, or about 31.8%, which is the complement of the area between minus one and one. I'll show you that again. There we go, 0.6827. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for your attention.